Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm continuing my toolbar series, and this time I'm going to talk about rotating canvas and rotating view, and plus there's a bonus at the end to tell you a much better way to do it if you have a trackpad. So let's get started. If you go up to the document menu, you'll see rotate 90 degrees clockwise, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. But if you go up to the view menu, you also see rotate left and rotate right. So let's talk about the differences. First of all, if you rotate a document, let me just first, I'm just going to paint something. Hold on a second. I just want to give a color. Uh, so you can see it on the computer. I want to make sure you're able to see it. Let's do red. And I paint something like that. Now if I go to document and I say rotate clockwise 90 degrees, we turn that way. Now say I'm done with my document and I want to print it. All I have to do is go file, print, and you can see right here it's printed the way I'm looking at it on the screen. See it sideways? That's exactly the way it is on the screen and that's how it'll print. Let's cancel that. Now let's undo that. Now the difference is if I go to view and I say rotate right, it gives me little degrees of rotation each time. So it's not rotating all the way, but here's the difference. Watch this. I'll just keep going. Now you see this? This is where we were before when we did it in the document menu. But watch what happens. I go File and Print. And it's not sideways anymore. See the difference? So what I'm trying to show is Rotate Document is actually rotating the document. And that's the way it will print. When you rotate View, it's only giving you the view. If I, I can go up to view and they reset rotation, and that's exactly the way it's going to print. Now, why would I want to use that? Well, I'm going to show you right now. Let's delete this now. Why would I want to rotate in view? Well, sometimes when you're painting, and I don't have a, I'm not using a pen and tablet, so I'm using my mouse right now, but sometimes you are good at going up and down like this, which I am not right now, but. I'm just going to do this for now, just like that, right? And maybe I want to be able to go on a certain angle. So if I go view, rotate left, and I'll say view, rotate left again, and I'll keep going until I feel like I want to be. I wish it, it would let me do more increments, but it doesn't. But I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And now I'll pick another color. And I could still now do my up and down because it's easier for me to do up and down like that. And then I can just bring the canvas back and reset my canvas. Sometimes you have to do little details and sometimes you want to be on certain angles. But it'll always print this way when you're done, whether it's rotated or not, because it's only your view. It's not the actual document turning. Now, a special trick, and I know it's working on the Mac, and I'm sure it works on a PC also, is if you want to rotate your canvas, if you have a trackpad, you touch two fingers on a Mac trackpad. You don't press down, you just use two fingers. And I can just, ro I'm just moving my fingers so I can get any rotation I want just with two fingers. I'm just turning my fingers around just like I was spinning with two fingers and I love that because now I can go here and then say oh okay I want to paint something else and I could paint this way this way I want to draw a face a really <laughs> pretty bad face but I want the face to be on this angle <laughs> that's a self portrait by the way just so you know so now I go to view reset rotation and now I have my face sideways which is fine you know, I might not have been able to draw that sideways because I'm such a wonderful artist, you know, but <laughs> but that's what I'm talking about. So when it prints, no matter how it's rotated, 
And I'm sure on a, a Windows machine, you should be able to do this on your trackpad too. I'm just rotating wherever I put my fingers right now. And I can rotate any angle. But if you don't have a trackpad on your laptop, you can just go view, rotate left, but you have to keep doing it, which is really a pain. Come on, Affinity. You got to give me a rotate within, a, let me put in a degrees, but they won't, they don't have that as of right now. But now if I use my trackpad, it's so much easier. I can just rotate it where I want it. It's just like I would hold a piece of paper and rotate it and then continue drawing. So that's it. It's very simple. Beginner's tutorial. And it's uh, more about that powerful toolbar and the powerful tools of Affinity Photo. And please check out my whole series on the powerful tools because it is wonderful for beginners. And even some when I started using Affinity, I didn't know how to use. And I was doing it while recording. So we figured it all out. And some of you even helped me. So if you look at the comments on some of those videos, you'll see how viewers like yourself helped me out. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and leave me some comments on the YouTube channel. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye.